Oh, salmon, you're growing up so fast. Today was the first day I started warming up the tank. Instead of 36 degrees, your water is now 37.7 degrees. From now on, the water will start to warm up about two degrees a week, which means that as the water warms, your yolk sacs will shrink and you'll start to grow up and to fry. <sighs> Today I'm going to read the Alvin a story. Although they aren't as responsive as the wonderful students of Team 2-3, I thought it would be good to teach them a little bit in their garage home about what's going to come once we release them into the stream. This book is about the salmon life cycle. Salmon Stream by Carol Reed Jones, illustrated by Michael S. Maydak. Carol Reed Jones actually emailed me back when I asked her permission to read this book to you over the internet. She said she and the publishing company would be thrilled if I shared this book with you. And I know that you are excited to hear this story before we left school. So a special thank you to Carol Reed Jones. And I'm excited to share this book with you and the little Alvin. <clears throat> Salmon Stream. This is the stream in the forest. This is the water, clear and cool, that flows in the stream in the forest. This is the deep and shady pool, filled with water, clear and cool, that flows in the stream in the forest. This is the nest of rocky gravel, far beyond the shady pool, filled with water, clear and cool, that flows in the stream in the forest. The egg of a salmon, born to travel, hides in the nest of rocky gravel, far beyond the shady pool, filled with water, clear and cool, that flows in the stream, in the forest. Alvin, that's why we put these rocks in to kind of mimic some of that gravel. So your rocky, shallow stream isn't quite going to be the same as this safe little tank, but the rocks will help give you that pretend shelter until you have real shelter in gravel. This is the tiny fish that hatched and has its dinner still attached from the egg of a salmon born to travel that hides in the nest of rocky gravel far beyond the shady pool filled with water clear and cool that flows in the stream in the forest. Alvin, this is the stage that you are now. You are eating from your yolk sac so that you'll grow big and strong. This is the trout that tried to catch the tiny fish so newly hatched that has its dinner still attached from the egg of a salmon born to travel that hides in the nest of rocky gravel far beyond the shady pool filled with water clear and cool that flows in the stream in the forest. <clears throat> a hovering osprey dived to snatch the wily trout that tried to catch the tiny fish so newly hatched that has its dinner still attached from the egg of a salmon born to travel that hides in the nest of rocky gravel far beyond the shady pool filled with water clear and cool that flows in the stream in the forest. So Ilvin, when you become fry and start to swim around in Sabata's stream, you might find some predators like trout, but maybe in this story, a hungry osprey will save you just in time. Good luck out there. These are the spotted fry that grow and wait for a sign they instinctively know. The rains will tell them when to go. They leave the place where the osprey snatch, the wily trout that tried to catch, the tiny fish so newly hatched that had its dinner still attached. From the egg of a salmon born to travel that hides in the nest of rocky gravel, far beyond the shady pool filled with water clear and cool that flows in the stream in the forest. Traveling down with the current's flow, facing upstream as they go. The smolt pass obstacles great and small, 
gravelly shallows, a waterfall, through culverts and pipes devised by man, down a fish ladder on a dam and to an estuary wide. Drifting with the ebbing tide, they reach their salt water home at last, an ocean indescribably vast. Oh, Alvin, after you become fry, you'll become par and then smolt, and you'll start to face some changes. You'll start to get ready for your saltwater lives, and in a year or two, you'll travel to the Atlantic Ocean and begin your journey north. You'll be so big then. The salmon grow for months in the sea, catching fish and swimming free. Some of you guys were wondering what kinds of types of salmon were out there. Um, the Atlantic Ocean actually only has one kind, this kind, the Atlantic salmon. But on the West Coast, there are lots of other kinds too. Carol Reed Jones is from Washington, and so she might see other kinds of salmon, such as the coho salmon, steelhead trout, Chinook salmon, pink salmon, sockeye, chum, and then there's a picture of our Atlantic salmon. You can see that it's one of the bigger of the kinds. Trying not to become a meal for human, sea lion, orca, or seal until they get the homing urge to gather where river and ocean merge. This is the rain that swells the rivers and sends the message that nature delivers to salmon to send them home to spawn, relentlessly swimming on and on, up the river with the tide, past the estuary wide. Up a fish ladder on a dam, through culverts and pipes devised by man, obeying the voice of instinct's call, they leap a ten-foot waterfall to reach the place where they were born, bruised from the journey, weary and worn. The salmon come home at the end of their lives. They spawn, and each little egg that survives will start the cycle over again with the coming of the rain and silver smolt will discover the sea and turn to salmon swimming free and tiny fish will one day hatch with their dinners still attached from the eggs of a salmon born to travel that hide in the nest of rocky gravel far beyond the shady pool filled with water clear and cool that flows in the stream in the forest. Thank you, Carol Reed Jones, for this amazing book. This kind of nonfiction book is this unique kind. Team 2-3, we've talked about it a little bit. There's all kinds of nonfiction, but this nonfiction tells a story, and you might have been able to tell that it was written as a poem. Oh, Alvin, I hope you see where you came from and the journey that you have ahead of you. You will have to be brave. Your salmon parents were very brave and went all the way out to the ocean and daringly traveled back again to lay you as eggs into the rocky gravel of Sabatis Stream. Maybe someday you'll float by us in Bodenham on Merry Meeting Bay, completing your life cycle. <laughs>